Hello and welcome to the library. Things are looking a little bit different this year. Normally, we would welcome you and offer a tour in person. But since the library is physically closed, I'd like to take you through and show you some of the key service points that will be available to you when you're able to visit in the future. So here at the Loan Desk, you can check out books, reserve materials, and ask the library staff about services in the building and also about how to use the library. For now, while you're working remotely, you can email request at uvic.ca to access library print materials. But we've also got lots of materials available online. In the back in the lounge, you can work, talk with your friends, and play the silent piano. Moving along, we get to the Research Help Desk, where during the day, you can get help with finding resources for your assignments, search strategies for your research, as well as with formatting citations. After hours, you can get support by email, phone, or text. Library staff can also help you at the Technical Help Desk with things like accessing UVix Wi-Fi, setting up wireless printing, formatting your papers, and they can also answer your questions about software like Microsoft Office. As we walk down the corridor, we get to the Learning Commons. So down this hall, you'll find writing and academic communication for help with your essays, as well as academic advising, math, stats, and physics help, and study solutions for learning strategies and study tips. Normally, you can book in-person appointments, but for now, head to learnanywhere.uvic.ca to find out more about academic support services available to you to help you in your courses. Next, we get to the music and media desk. So here you can borrow equipment to create digital media projects, such as cameras, recorders, tripods, and microphones. You can also borrow equipment like noise cancelling headphones, iPads, and phone chargers. On the third floor in the Digital Scholarship Commons, they offer free workshops to show you how to use all of these tools and equipment, as well as a 3D printer and virtual reality room. And of course, you can always borrow music scores and audio and video recordings. As we head back to the front of the library, I'd like to tell you more about some of the other services that the library has to offer. So on the lower level, we have the Special Collections and University Archives Reading Room. This is home to lots of interesting artifacts and documents. As you can see, we also have lots of study spaces, both for individuals and for groups, and tons of computers that you can use. So over here are the group study rooms, which normally you can book online. For now, you can book study spaces in Bibliocafe. Just email the library for more details. Please remember that although the library might be physically closed, we are open virtually to help you with all of your research and library needs. Good luck with the new term, and we look forward to welcoming you back to the library when we are physically open.